you guys have probably seen my previous video where I do a sound comparison of the stock exhaust versus the two brothers racing M2 Vail carbon fiber exhaust. The videos don't do justice to how loud the exhaust actually is. I took it out for a ride and it was extremely loud. There's that portion of it where I go through the parking lot and it was fucking loud man, like hardly loud because it just echoed through the parking garage. Last night I installed the power tip and it definitely makes it more comfortable. Like it does quiet it down a little bit where it's like not rattling in my helmet anymore. But it still keeps that little that throttly sound, that deeper tone. So that's kind of nice. I don't have to buy the P1X exhaust tip to make it even quieter unless for some reason the cops want to fuck with me on a fucking scooter. But I love the I love the sound it gives you, man. It's definitely a meaner sound. And hopefully it's with the power tip installed, it's still loud enough that I'm being noticed and I won't have people cutting me off and turning into me and granted there's just stupid drivers everywhere so you can't eliminate all of that just by throwing on the exhaust so I'm on my way to the doctors right now it's just a little follow-up visit on the ear infection I had my right ear is still a little stuffy the pain is like out of one or half of one there's still a ringing in my ear there's still a little bit of hearing loss but it's much much better than the first day when I went to the hospital do I need to clean my visor man I got bugs all over this shit after I installed the scooter I took it out for a little ride I found a nice little country road with some twisties on it it was cool at first and then I caught up to some traffic and Damn, dude, my visor's just splattered with bugs right now. Welcome back, guys. Or let's say I'm back. It's like 3 o'clock in the parking lot at the hospital. It's a goddamn clusterfuck. I was walking back out to the scooter and some fucking car steals a handicap zone from another handicap lady trying to get in. There's people everywhere. Cars everywhere that's a goddamn clusterfuck what did I mention I mentioned I had an ear infection I woke up in the middle of the night with the incredible pain like I blew my eardrum out so I just a follow-up visit today the doctor checked it out he found a spot where it ruptured so I did actually I did rupture my eardrum I didn't blow it out like you're at the club you blow it out you're gonna be deaf but it definitely did pop and that explains that explains the incredible amount of pain I was in that night he said it's a small rupture it's scabbed over it's gonna heal on its own in serious I'm gonna fucking go deaf in my right ear it's actually a lot better now um, so we're just gonna keep an eye on it in a couple of months here if I'm still like there's still fluid and I'm still feel stuffy and everything's muffled. That guy's taking a nap. Um, then we'll have to do like a serious examination on my ear. But so far so good. <clears throat> so that's it. I got an ear infection. I didn't do anything about it. It's like, oh, it's just a cold. If I go to the doctor, they're just going to give me medicine and it's going to go away in a week. So I was like, fuck it. I'll just wait a week before I go. And the ear infection went away in my left ear. And then like towards the end of the week, my ear infection comes back in my right ear and it's fucking brutal, brutal. It came back with a vengeance. So bad that it blew my eardrum out. It ruptured my eardrum. It didn't blow it out, but it definitely ruptured it. I'm 
just cruising, man. I've been without a microphone for so long that I'm kind of just used to just cruising. I'm not used to talking to an audience. My 10 subscribers. <laughs> just cruising over to my buddy Tom's house. Grab something to eat. We're going to hang out. 